Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a third eye pine cone pendant with a crystal. The type of pine cone that I'm using is called a knob cone pine cone, and you can buy these pre made slices on Etsy and on eBay. To start off, you'll need the following supplies plastic gloves, three small cups, which usually come with a resin making kit, epoxy resin and some sort of paper or disposable cup or bowl to throw away after your pendant has dried with the resin. If you're going to add a crystal to your third eye pine cone, you should glue the crystal into place wherever you want it on the pine cone slice before you resin, and it doesn't have to be super glue or anything because the resin should hold the crystal in place once it's dry. To prepare the resin to dunk your pine cone slice in, what you want to do is set aside two of the cups that your kit comes with to pour both the resin and the hardener in. And I've labeled mine A and B to correspond with the bottles so that way I can use them again. And then I leave the third cup to pour them both into and mix and dip my pine cones in. The cups that my resin kit came with are labeled in milliliters along the side, and you want to make sure that you have an equal amount of both the resin and the hardener, and then mix them together in the third cup. Since I'm only working with two small sized pine cone slices today, I am only going to use about 10 milliliters of each the resin and the hardener. So I will fill up each cup to the first line down here on the bottom, underneath the 20, and then mix them together in this third cup. I forgot to mention, you're also going to want a popsicle stick so that you can stir them together. So here I've poured the resin and the hardener into the labeled cups, both to the 10 milliliter marked line. And now I'm going to pour both of these into the third cup so that I can mix them together. And you'll want to use the popsicle stick to scrape the rest out of the cup there. Now I'm going to pour the hardener from cup B in with the resin. And again, use the popsicle stick to get the rest of that out of there. So here I have the resin and the hardener together. And you want to stir it for a good couple minutes. And if you notice that there are bubbles in it, tiny, tiny bubbles, they're hard to see from here. Um, the easiest solution for that is just wait it out. I would leave, I would stir this for at least two or three minutes and let it sit for about 20-25 minutes and most of the bubbles should go away by then and then at that point you can start dipping your pendant in and leaving it to dry in that disposable cup. I've let my resin hardener mixture sit for about 20-21 minutes now and there are a lot less bubbles in there. Very hard to see them now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my tiger's eye third eye pine cone slice and dip it in the resin with a glove on of course. And I'm going to submerge it. I'm going to take it out and flip it over. And once I've submerged both sides of the pine cone slice, I'm going to just hold it over the cup and give it a little shake, let all the excess drip off. And once that is done, I will put it to dry in the paper bowl. So I rested this pendant against the side of this bowl because it's a bit big and it made a little bit of a puddle there so I moved it over. And now I'm going to do the amethyst pendant. 
So here's my amethyst pendant. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to submerge it in the resin. And flip it over. Now I've got them both in here to dry. If you happen to get resin on your hands and they're super sticky like I just did, a great solution that's super fast and easy to get it off of your skin is to use one tablespoon of baking soda and one tablespoon of dish soap. Put that on your hands dry with no water and scrub your hands together with both the baking soda and the soap on your hands and then rinse. And if you're still a little sticky, you can do it a couple more times and it will come off. It took me two times to get the stickiness to go away, but it does work. I also made a rose quartz pendant and I have them all drying in the paper bowl. You're going to want to let your pinecone pendants dry for 24 hours or more. Most websites online say that the resin is completely cured at 72 hours. Although the last pendants I made, I waited 24 and they were fine. Check back soon for my next video where I'll be showing you how to turn these into pendants by adding a screw eye to the top and necklaces. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you enjoyed making your third eye pine cones. Thanks for watching!